Hi everyone. This time I'm going to show you how to set the room on a fire. On this video there are many layers. I can show you the track motion and some useful effects for that. So open a new project. Click File, Import. This one will be a Steadicam footage. It's better for that. Grab the file and put it on timeline. Yeah, click track motion. Uh, we need all of these rotation, position, and scale. Here we go. Track point. We need to make it bigger. And place them on a recognizable area and now we can start tracking just push the button When it has been finished, click here on the original file and you can see all the track points for each frame. And this section is useless anyway and now import the fire click on file import is the real fire so we need to cut cut the rubbish okay let's find a good one Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Click effect, keying, color key. Need to change the color from blue to black in this case. the edge feeder around 16 and now we need to use another transition so click effect distort so it transform not transition and place the flame on the right place and now we're going to apply the track motion 
the motion source the first video the current track is a track one edit target we need to choose the fire video and apply it just click apply and ok and now I'm gonna delete this section because the track points are out of control the flame is not the right angle so we need to transform it just open the another transform we have to use this additional rotation Let's click rotation and fix the position again and that's it Let's play. Oops, let's jump a bit. No problem, we can fix it on the additional transform. But we have no time this time, so it's gonna be in a part two. just for make it better we're going to use uh, another effect on the original footage so click on and click effect distort and ripple everything goes up the height, the wide, the speed the center have to go down because the wave directions need to spend a little bit more time for adjusting and five six more flames layers and the result will be quite enjoyable I hope you enjoyed my tutorial see you next time part one